So there's, uh, yeah, you got camera. Too. All right, team. Here so the, we go. The thing I'm trying to get is, like, if you see a big rock coming up, her, her wheels being all mm -hmm. akimbo. You're taking video of that? No, just like trying to catch a picture of like when her wheels are real crazy. I mean, Paul and Charlie, your fixtures that Steve, if your parking uh, or your perimeter alarms button is beeping at you all the time, that there's trees close to you and stuff like that, and it's beep, 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 and driving you nuts, top right hand side of the screen, there's a little button that looks like a P shouting at a cone. If you press that and make it gray, uh, then that will turn that alarm off and it won't be so annoying. So you got to do rock climb. I wasn't on that. Oh my god, look at that. 
Yeah, the guy on the motorcycle is probably having a blast too. You guys are looking great back there. Nice job. Nice job. That's cool. Yeah. All right, look around the hill here. Get the truck nice and lined up because there are some big rocks here right in the center. Now, this is going to be a momentum climb that we're going to do. You just need your right foot here. Just a nice steady throttle all the way up to the top, seven to eight miles an hour. I'm completely off the brake. I'm looking at Jeremy, I'm looking ahead. Once I lose sight of the road, I'm gonna to keep to the right just a little and use my camera. There is a little bit of railroad track that's sticking out there at the top. You might be able to see it as you rise up. But remember, hit that flush with the tire or stay to the right, and that way we'll avoid a flat. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm just getting my left foot settled. Good job back there, team. Good job. So if you look ahead, you'll see a large tailings pile, that big mound of earth ahead there that looks like a big sand dune. The ridge off to our left, we're going all the way up to the top of that today. Wow. Where? No Not fucking where way. you'll have lunch. So this area was all a mining area back in the 1860s up until the turn of the 20th century. You'll see some of the chimney shafts for where the mine uh, drivers left as you go by there in just a second. Oh, yeah, there was one over there. But all of those uh, tailings piles, uh, that's all the garbage that they have taken out of the mine oh. and sifted through and then created a huge pile. Those are called tailings. Oh. We're going to play around in those quite a lot today. So keeping over to the left of the trail, avoiding those ruts, going to use the green shoe method. So above your screen to the right, the truck going over the hills, press that button and we're going to turn on trail one pedal drive. So Mr. Paul, please confirm that you see your green shoe. Green we shoe. see a green shoe. Copy that. Mr. Steve, green shoe. Hi. Green shoe. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to give it a little bit of gas drive through that left foot braking assist the truck is doing for you, and then we're going to capture our rolling speed. To get the truck up and moving, once you've got it rolling, I want you to hit set plus on the left spoke of your steering wheel. See it? Mm -hmm. Now capture your rolling speed. Then use set plus, set minus to adjust your speed to 5.5 five for the climb. So no gas, no brake here. The truck's going to do all the work for you. And we're going to climb up the hill at 5.5. Oh yeah, these are good. This will be a good picture. So with trail control, remember this is the one that we used when we climbed the big hill and you stopped at the top. That's what we are using this feature for. Common question I get asked, how do I remember what the difference is? And it's fairly simple. Trail control is cruise control for going up and down hills. Ah. So you'll use your cruise control panel on the left spoke of your wheel to control that. The default trail one or green shoe one foot, one shoe, one pedal, that's all you need, and that's your right foot. 
So that's the difference. Trail one pedal, you only need one foot, your right foot. Okay. Trail control, cruise control, so you use the cruise control panel. So when you, you don't need to use your foot at all, Remember, right? Remember, with these I'm driver's the assistance, you want to form good habits when you are using them. And with those good habits is using the cancel and resume when you are in trail control. What is vital to remember in this mode is that if you have green numbers and you release the brake, even if you've come to a full and complete stop, if you have not hit cancel, when you release the brake, the truck will roll forward. So any time that you're using trail control and you come to a full stop, get in the practice, get in the good habit of hitting Cancel. All right, ahead here. Right about where I am right now, if, if y'all can see me, when you pass this tree that's to my left, I want you to hit set minus and bring your speed down to 3.5. So when you get to the tree, Set minus, bring your speed to 3.5, and we're going to descend. Check. Yeah, go ahead. Are you there? Yeah. Are you okay, Yep. No, we're good. All right, copy that. All right. <laughs> so we're going to head down the hill here. I know, no gas, no brake. The pucker factor goes up just a little bit. And then we're going to follow the trail the off to the right a little bit. I'm actually going to have to slow down here. I'm going to come to a stop. Uh, Paul and Charlene, Steve, I'm coming to a stop here. The trucks ahead of me are a little bit quick, or a little bit slow. I don't want to catch them too quick. All right. So now I'm going to bring the speed back to 3.5 to come down the hill. As you make that right hander off to the left just a little bit, just to give yourself a little bit of room. Then look ahead. There are some rocks. I want your left front tires on those rocks for uh, leverage. Now we can get a little bit of traction. Left front tires on those rocks. And then just follow my little bunny trail down to the bottom. Do not go too far driver's right at any point in that chute. It is very loose to the right. You Too will loose. slide, and we don't want to talk about what happens if you start to slide. Okay. <laughs> Down at the bottom, you'll see Jake off to the left sitting there. When you get to Jake, you can turn off the feature by pressing the button over the screen. To the 3.5, all the way down to the bottom. When you get to Jake, Hit the button, turn the feature off all together, and go back to follow. Do that. Some question that I get asked, um, what is the difference between four high and four low? Well, four high is when you are going to use the higher range.